Question 5 is about angles of triangles. Here we need to find the measure of different angles. Let's look at what they have asked us to measure. It's B, C and D. So this is C away at this point. B, C, D. That has given us 2x minus 2. But they have given all the other angles as well. You can see this is also mentioned. Now what is this? Now if this is 90, this is also 90 because they are linear pairs. And if 190 degrees is there, the uh, supplementary to it or the next angle to it will be 90 degree as long as it's a straight line. And will we be able to solve for BC, BCD this angle with this much information? Yes, because it's a triangle, right? When you add up all the angles, that is D plus B plus C, what happens? It's 180 degrees. So we know D is 90, B is X plus 8, and C is 2X minus 2. This will be 180. You can solve it uh, by yourself. I mean, taking to the other side. But what I'll do is I'll show you shortcut in calculators now. Just type it out in the calculator. 90 plus X is alpha, X plus 8. Then again, add up 2X plus minus 2. And lastly, equal to, that is alpha equal to 180. Now you cannot press equal to, it will be an error because you have an equal to sign, that is equation. So you need to press shift and solve. And now press equal to, that is the answer, x. But that is not a final answer. We need to find BCD, not the x value. So now substitute x over here. So it will be 2 times, answer is how much? 28 minus 2, that is the answer, 54. You can see the answer will be the x value is 28. The value of BCD, measure of BCD is 54. So that's the answer. Similarly, we can solve the others. Now over here, what happens? Always remember this exterior angle is there, right? This is equal to the sum of the interior angles, not this one, the other two. Why? Because, so imagine this is the thing, right? When you add them all up, it will be 180 degrees, isn't it? When you add, say, angle A, B, C, isn't it? A, B, C. Now, I'll consider this to be D, and this is C. So, here A, B, C will be equal to 180. And over here, C, D, they are straight lines, supplementary. So, 180 is also equal to C and D. So, cancel them. What is it? A, B must be equal to D. So these, when you add it up, it's not like it's plus, okay? So when you add it up, A, B, that will be equal to D. Or else you can just remember it as a formula. So all you need to do is put it in the calculator. 145 will be equal to alpha equal to 95 plus 2X. And shift and solve, shift and solve equal to you need to press. This is the correct answer. But now we do not want, uh, you know, the x value. We need to find a, b, c, this angle. 2 times 25 is 50. So the answer will be 50. Multiply this by 2. And what next? You can find this the same way. You need to find the measure of f. So all you need to do is 58 equals x plus x is 2x. I'm going to write it directly. Or you can write over here x plus x. It's fine. You'll get the same answer. Shift and solve. This is the previous stored answer. When you press equal to, you'll get the new answer. That's 29 is the answer. We have a real world problem. It's about towers. A lookout tower sits on network of struts and posts. So struts is this, the uh, support, which is there and posts. Leslie measures two angles on the tower. Measure of angle 1 over here is 7x minus 7. And measure of angle 2 over here is given. 4x plus 2 and measure of angle 3 is also given. What is the measure of angle 1? So this angle is required to be found out. Now it's all given in terms of x. So all you need to do is know the formula measure of angle 1 will be equal to the measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3. Measure of angle 3. This is like this. So we will substitute it 7x minus 7. That will be equal to 4x plus 2 plus 2x plus 6. You can use your calculators and directly solve it up. All you need to do is type it out. 7x, that is alpha x, minus 1, minus 7, equals 4x plus 2 plus 2x plus 6. Shift and solve. 
The answer is 15. X value is 15. What is the measure of 1? So 7 times 15 or the answer you can type minus 7 is the answer. Okay, now the thing is once you are in the equation mode, you need to press on. Now you are outside. So now you can write 7 times 15 minus 7 and you'll get the answer 98. That's how we solve this. Similarly, please do solve the this one as well. I'll just tell you what is the formula. This 116 will be equal to sum of these two. And what is 1 and 2? It's given over here 8x and 7x. All you need to do is put in the calculator, solve it up. Here is the answer 64 degrees. So that is how we solve this problem. Another easy problem. Just remember the exterior angle theorem.